What are you yelling about? My favorite vase. Someone breaks it and just leaves it here for me to clean. Well, don't look at me. I didn't do it. I know it wasn't you, Pierre. Don't worry. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. Not necessary. When's the last time you saw it not smashed? 8 o'clock last night. It was 9.44 a.m. when I discovered the crime scene. What are you doing? <laughs> Hold this camera for a second. Oh my god. What are you wearing? What are you doing? As I saw it, there were five possible suspects. It only makes sense to start with the prime one. Where were you at 307 last <laughs> night? The fuck are you wearing? I'm asking the questions here, Buster. All right, Sherlock, you need to calm down because I was with you the entire night. At approximately 307, you left to go get a drink. What's up with that? All right, could you back up? Linda needed help cleaning a mess. She knew you were gonna either snitch or back up okay or not help her so there it is case solved my smoking gun just what i needed are you narrating your own internal monologue if you're gonna go bother linda count me in because i'm bored give me that so do you want to confess now or do you want to do this the hard way what are you wearing i am asking the questions what mess did you need help cleaning last night marco you told case closed Wait, Pierre, are the dogs okay though? What? The mess is that they pee on my bed. Mom told me not to bring them down here. Marco helped me clean it. Please don't tell on me, she's gonna be so mad here, come on. The plot thickens. What's this about anyway? Mom's favorite vase broke and she's freaking out. Okay, we're leaving, let's go. Her reaction made me genuinely believe that she was innocent. Are you talking to yourself? I could hear you. I'm out of leads. I did hear the vacuum running above my bedroom at like 8 a.m. And by the way of the footsteps, I know it was dad. Right where the scene of the crime was. We have some questions for you, Al Dente. Well, you should know better that I don't talk to no cops. Why were you vacuuming at 8 a.m.? Why do you sound like Batman? <laughs> you were vacuuming at 8 a.m. You broke the vase. You did not want to get caught in your misdeeds. Case closed. You? My good sir, are a jackass. I was vacuuming this morning because the dogs weren't peeing when I let them out and I had to go out and get them and bring them back in. And I got some crap on the rug. And then I vacuumed this so I don't have to hear any flapping later. The young detective knew he hit another dead end and he could not trust those around him. You know I can hear you, right? Why don't you go question your sister Nikki? She ran out of here like a bat out of hell around nine o'clock without saying goodbye to anybody. I saw it on the ring camera. Not all hope is lost. Be prepared to tackle her if she tries to run away. We need answers. What the fuck are you guys doing here? And what the fuck are you wearing? <laughs> Admit you broke the vase. We have you on camera running out of the house at 9 a.m. First of all, I ran out of the house because mom was trying to talk to me about my grades and about my tickets. And I was only home in the first place because I'm literally broke and I have no food here. Another dead end. The young stallion of a detective was at a dead end with nowhere left to turn. Hope seemed to be lost. That was until I realized the one suspect I had overlooked. I thought this case was going to go cold. Haunt me for my entire career. But then everything started making sense. It was you! You were the one who broke the vase. You were the only one who could have done it. Marco was asleep. Linda was at the gym. Dad was at work. And the last wrench in your plan was Nikki. And you concocted a plan to scare her away from the house. That vase was old and ugly. Don't tell your dad. Case dismissed. What are you doing? Don't smoke that in my house. Get that <laughs> out of here. No one can find out about this. You'll never get another dinner from me again unless you pin this on somebody else. Who do we pin it on? Luckily, Sherlock Saucy is an expert in espionage. I say... Okay, so let me get this straight. Enzo jumped up onto here, knocked the vase over, smashed it into a million pieces, pit patted away, and that's how it happened. That's yeah. exactly what happened. Yeah. Enzo. Enzo. Okay. All right. Sherlock Saucy does it again. Psst. Psst. Come here. Come here. Listen up. Listen up. Enzo's innocent. I know your mother did it. And it's up to me and you to bust her. <laughs>